These are really short sections, these main groups, so we'll finish it pretty quickly. Uh, main group are the S and the P block. So these two columns, alkali and alkali of earth, along with this whole P block from boron to the uh, noble gases, those are the main group. And there's main group metals, which are these two, and under the staircase that I'll cover now. And then the main group nonmetals we'll get to, they're over here on the very right, upper right. Okay, why the heck are we doing main group, or what's the unique characteristics? Um, the columns, just like before from the periodic table, similar columns have similar properties. So when you're, when you're in the same column, because the valence shell configuration is the same, uh, you're going to have similar properties. What you're going to notice is the lightest element of each will have unique properties. So that would be like hydrogen, boron, carbon, etc. All the ones along the top, helium, will have unique properties compared to the rest, but essentially they'll be pretty similar. Um, diagonal relationships exist. So even the diagonal on the periodic table has similarities. Here's a couple. So you want to know the diagonal relationships. So uh, Beryllium and aluminum are, have some similarities, boron and silicon. I'll be pointing out a couple of these from time to time. There's not a lot of them, but some do exist. Uh, and remember that this metal-nonmetal is really continual. So we go from more metal uh, characteristics to less metal or less metallic characteristics. So uh, it, it's really on a continuum. All right. So let's start uh, first with the alkali metals. 